Oh, just got back in. Took Mr. Max out. He actually wanted to walk today. It wasn't quite as hot, and so he did the whole mail run today. So that was good. Now, I wanted to do... I thought I would look at and see if I can get an answer to what is the importance in voting? You, you know, what can you tell us about the importance of voting? So let me see if I can get an answer to that. What can you tell me about voting, the importance or the lack of importance there in voting? Let's see what we get here. So what that immediately, you know, this part always symbolizes to me, you know, you got blood on your hands, you know. <laughs> if you don't vote, you know, then, you know, whatever happens and we have this fool in here again, then you got blood on your hands. You can't, you can't talk about what's going on if you didn't participate, okay. Yeah, you, you've got to vote if you want to make things happen, if you want to shift them, okay? Um, if you don't like the way things are now, okay, then uh, you you got to vote. Let's see what else we have. Let's see what else we have with this. What about voting? What about voting? Yeah, if you want to, you know, be like the magician and effect change, then you got to vote. Otherwise, don't complain about it. You know, uh, so we've got journey. got uh, crafty. The journey we got flirtation. Okay, it's not going to do to just sit there and think about it, flirt with the idea about it. What's it say? Every journey, everything begins with the walking. You gotta actually walk it. If you're gonna make the journey and you wanna have effect change, like the magician change, then you gotta, uh, you know, gotta actually do it. Okay. And vision, crafty vision, you know. What are the consequences, again, if you don't vote? You can have crafty both ways. You can see more internally what's going on and be crafty enough to vote. Or you could have, you know, keep uh, the repugly uglies in there with their crafty ways of uh, just really um, doing ongoing um, illegal things, okay? Using using their positions in a crafty manner to just continue to steal from people and continue to put us in a worse situation than we're at now, okay? So again, if you don't do it, don't cry later. You got blood on your hands because, again, you didn't participate, you know. So let's see what we have underneath of it. 
we've got the struggle now. Okay. And the challenge is to get things balanced again, get things righted. Rather than juggling this strife that we've got going now, the challenge is to get things back in balance. Okay. Let's see what we have going into it. What we have going into it is, yeah, this is something that's been fostered on. Um, and the challenge is, you know, they're going to keep doing it. They're going to keep doing it. Okay. We've got to get a handle on it. So if you don't vote, you know how this was stolen this last time? They're going to do it more. They're going to do it again. Okay. That's their ideation. Okay. So again, you know, if you get the other new administration in and you don't like it, then you can't complain about it because, uh, you know, let's see what we have for foundation. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We want more sensitivity in there. Someone with compassion, somebody that's feeling, you know. Um, the challenge is justice, justice, okay? If we want to get somebody in there that's got more compassion and we want to have the justice, then again, you got to vote. You got to vote. Okay, above it we have, yeah. <clears throat> The emperor. The challenge is, so this would be Biden, new new coming in, uh, Aries, getting things going, and the challenge is to get back to where we were in some semblance. Like he said, he wants to. We this is we are fighting for America now. We are fighting for America our values. We want to put the back to the parks and the EPA and, you know, all of these things that Trump has screwed with. The education. Get rid of the boss and this foolishness that's out there that they have been just killing us with. Okay, going forward, you know, people feel like they've been left out. They've been beat up. The challenge is judgment, okay? Correct judgment. So again, if you want it to change, if you don't want to continue to be beat up, okay? If you want things to go back to where we had some American values, we could be proud of our country, we could be proud of our president, then you got to vote. You know? The journey takes more than flirting with the idea of voting. It takes actual voting. You got to have the vision, the sight to see with crafty, to look ahead to see what's coming, okay? And take action, take measures now. Yeah, we got this last one, we cheated. We got this guy by, by uh, false ways. He did not win the election. Okay. And we have had to deal with this now for this term. And look how much destruction he's tried to do with our country. He listened to the ones like Steve Bannon, Steve Miller, these anarchists that want to tear apart the U.S. from the inside out. Putin, he's Putin's puppet over here. Again, just call it Kremlin West. That's what they're trying to do. Make it Kremlin West over here. Forget the American values. All he cares about is being an oligarch with money, okay? And turning this into a place where there are no rules, no regulations, no, nothing good for the people, only for the 1%, okay? That they have no rules. They can do whatever they want to make money, tear down the government, don't care about it. Don't care about the people. 
I mean, look at what they've done. Do you think it's fair that these big companies get, get billions of dollars and then the people that need it get a check for $1,200 that's supposed to last for 10 weeks? Okay, you think that's fair? If you think that's fair, then vote Trump in again. Vote the, vote the, whoever the repugly ugly that's going to vote, that's going to run, vote for him. Okay. But if you want to get somebody out there that cares and wants to put our government back, and Lord, uh, you know, I I just you know praise Biden for wanting to take that on because this is a nightmare. He has just tore this up from one end to the other, okay? We got Kavanaugh in there now. We've got all this, I mean, mess. We've got uh, Pompeo trying to do secret arms deals with the Saudis, okay? We've got Trump making money off the Trump Hotel, trying to put the next thing, it, it is uh, Miami, disgusting golf club where they were written up because it was unsanitary, nasty, okay? We've got to stop this. Again, if you don't vote, then you might as well just have blood on your hands because uh, that's the importance of it. Again, can't just flirt with it and say, that's a good idea. But, nah, my, my life's not going to change. It's pretty miserable anyway. Well, it, it's going to change. If you keep getting ones like Trump in there that are anarchists that want to tear this part, oh, it's going to change. Okay. It's going to change. And it's not a change that any of us here would want to be living under. Okay. We don't want to be living under somebody that's got total control of everything. And that's what he's doing, little by little by little. What Barr is doing, he just, you know, dropped those cases against those Russians, 13 Russians that they had that investigation against. Okay, Barr just dropped their cases, dropped the case against Flynn, okay? Releasing these prisoners. I mean, it's just endless what he's doing. Pompeo, was it Pompeo that's in there having these dinners on the taxpayer's expense where he's taking in money, taking in money, taking in money, taking in money, okay? All this nonsense has to quit. And the only way it's going to quit is to get them out, get them voted out across the board, okay? So this is the most important election, I think, of our country's history. Really, this one, if you've never voted in your life, you never saw the need to it, this time there is a need. So please get out and vote. So thanks for tuning in. Love and light to everyone out there. I'll see you online.